Hello and welcome. Today we will learn a new terminology or a new testing terminology and that is acceptance testing or user acceptance testing. Now as the word suggests, acceptance testing is done just before accepting a change, a application, a product or a modification in the application. So these are the tests or this is the testing conducted to check if all the requirements are met or all the requirements laid out in the requirements documents are fulfilled. Now ISTQB defines acceptance testing as a formal testing conducted with respect to the user needs, the requirements and the business processes to determine that the system meets the acceptance criteria. So when we start building a product, a application or making any changes, we have some acceptance criteria that this is what the application should do or this is what it should meet these are the things that it should be able to do so we have acceptance criteria and before accepting the final product or application this is checked if it satisfies all the acceptance criteria now there are two types of user acceptance testing we have alpha testing and beta testing alpha testing is also called as internal user acceptance testing because it is done by the internal teams the teams that develop or test the application it is tested and checked if it meets all the requirements beta testing is also called as external user acceptance testing because it is done by the external teams the client teams or the end users to check the requirements all the requirements are met sometimes organizations also release a beta version of the application so that the users can test it and give their feedback and it is also a kind of beta user acceptance testing. I hope this terminology is now very clear to you and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.